What's up YouTube? How we doing? We just finished another day in the books. We're sober after 10 years of getting high. We did it. And we continue to do it. Um, as far as cigarettes go, I haven't had one in three days. So that's good. I did uh, smoking a vape today and yesterday, which gave me a sore throat, which is my fault. Uh, we are currently merging into traffic and we're out. Um, so yeah, I did smoke the vape today and yesterday, only a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to do that because changes my mental state ever so slightly and once again I don't want to do anything I don't want to do so I want to stick to my will which is to not change my mentalness at all my mental state so we're gonna stop the vape it's just it's just hard but it's all right I am addicted to it. Um, so yeah, I gotta be strong when it comes to that and I gotta uh, stick to not doing it, you know? That, that applies to anything in my life. Whatever I know is bad for me, I gotta stay away from. And if I know it's bad, why would I bring myself to do it? So we just got out of the gym. Today was a good day. We got Got some gains in. Got to the gym 45 minutes before it closed, so I wasn't able to do too much, but I still made the time worthwhile. I hit the um, I hit abs, did a really good ab workout for like 20 minutes, and then I went in the sauna for the other 20. And yeah felt good. I worked up a nice sweat in the sauna. Obviously, that's what the sauna's for. But it just felt good to get all the toxins out. Uh, I went to the beach today. Hung out with my friend for a bit. We talked about, you know, our lives and where we want to be. And how, what's, you know, the best mindset to have to get there. Which... You know, we concluded, actually concluded that a uh, good saying that my friend told me today was uh, failure weighs ounces and regret regrets weigh tons. Which means if you fail at something, yeah, it's going to hurt, but it barely, barely holds you down. Because failures are really just lessons. But if you regret not doing something... That holds you down a lot more and can stop you from doing that thing in the future. So let's say it's going up to a girl and talking to her. If you don't go up to her but you want to in your head, you're going to end up regretting that. And you could waste your whole day like, oh, what if I talk to her? Why didn't I talk to her? Oh, I'm so, I'm such a wussy. You know, all these negative things. But if you went up to her and talked to her and... You know, it didn't go the way you planned, and you failed at, you know, achieving your goal. That it doesn't really hold you back, because you did what you wanted to do, first of all. And next time, it makes it even easier to go up and do that. So, don't regret much in life. Don't regret anything. And if you see an opportunity, go seize it. Go attack it. Do it. Because it's only going to make you a better person. That goes for me, too. I don't do everything I want to do. I do regret things. But if the more I act on something and the more I do something I'm thinking about, if I fail, hey, I tried it. I still gave it a shot and I gained something out of that. I learned something new about myself or gained more confidence. It's a benefit at the end of the day. But if you didn't do it, you're just going to wonder, hey, what, what if I did do it? Oh, why didn't I do it? Oh, now she's probably going to talk to someone else. And this could be anything. This could be business, too. You know, if, if you fail at business, you're only one step closer to success. 
So yeah, guys, don't regret anything, all right? Just give it a shot. Worst case scenario, you fail. That's it. And a failure is a good thing. It's not bad to fail. Um, what else? Yeah, today was a good day. I didn't go to the gym as much as I wanted to this week. But, um, ended up taking... I remember two of the days I took naps that just carried on into the day, nighttime. Maybe, uh, it was really hot out this week, so maybe, like, my body was a little tired, but... You know, I don't, I don't like napping. I like pushing, push myself to stay awake and having a productive day and then getting a good sleep at night. That's what I'd rather do. And that's what's better for you too. It's all right to take a nap. If only it's like an hour. You're taking a nap more than an hour, you're sleeping. You're not napping anymore. And then, you know, a lot of times, I personally wake up from naps pretty like, uh, the whole day is wasted or I didn't do nothing. You know, I wake up a little sad after a nap And it's not not a feeling I like so why why would I do something that once again? I don't like so naps are one of those things that I also do that There is no benefit from it. I end up In a worse mood than I was before the nap and All I have to do is stay awake And I would be happier um, at the gym today, I was in, you know, I was doing abs pretty hard. This kid was next to me, kind of watching me do it. Um, and after, when I was in the sauna, that kid was in the sauna. And I just got in there, started stretching a little. The kid goes, hey, could I ask you a question? I was like, yeah, sure. He's like, of course. And he's like, are you, like, a fighter or anything? Because... I see you do like crazy stuff in the gym da -da -da. and I did wrestle back in the day so I told him that but other than that I don't I'm not a fighter I'd rather not fight need be I will fight if I have to but I'd rather stay out of it but if I gotta kick someone's ass I'll kick someone's ass so me and him ended up talking he um ended up essentially complimenting like how I work out and then he talked about himself a little bit and what his goals are as far as like why he's going to the gym and whatnot and I thought that was pretty cool because you know I didn't didn't realize this kid was like thought I worked out hard you know I don't even I don't even think I worked out that hard I just go to the gym and do my thing then um you know he left said goodbye so that's a new gym pal I have and then uh, another guy came in, and um, I wasn't really paying him much mind, but he said something to me, so I looked, I was looking at him, and he takes his headphones out, and he starts talking to me. And he's like, he's like, you know, I'm real, real tired. Like, this feels good, though. I was like, oh, good. Did you have a good workout? And he goes, oh, I didn't work out. I went on the treadmill, did like 40 minutes. I was like, oh, that's good. He goes, yeah, I'm trying to look like you. I was like, oh, I was like, all right. He goes, yeah, I want to be skinny, <laughs> which I hate being called skinny. But, um, but yeah, he also, you know, said that I look good, which I don't really, you know, I didn't go in there with that mindset that, hey, you know, I look good. I look the best. But sometimes when you don't think highly of yourself, other people you know, might see a different version of you. And, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it felt, felt good to have two people not look up to me, but, you know, say that I look good. And like, I, you know, didn't realize that's how I was being looked at. So, even for you, whoever's watching this video, someone could be looking up to you in a way that you won't, you don't even know. You know, you don't even realize. So, there's, you know, you're stronger than you think you are. Pretty much is what I'm getting at. That's what I realized today. So, this little nice boost I got. And um, me and him started chatting about him losing weight and getting more cut up. We were just talking about how, you know, 
just got to eat the right food essentially he said he doesn't move around a lot he sits for work but that's fine as long as when you're out of work you're active and you're eating the right food throughout the day then you can still attain your goals even if you're even if you don't move that much just eating the right food is more so than working out it'll keep you at least skinny but you also gotta lift the weights and put in the work to get to get the muscle because the more muscle you have the more the more it is to the easier it is to stay lean and cut up and yeah so obviously the work I'm putting in people are noticing and giving me compliments which feels good it's nice and it's good to know that you know this works paying off so that's what I want to talk about today we had a good day at the gym we made some gains made some friends I've been talking a lot more to just random people at the gym and I seen um, this girl at the gym who I kind of crush on a little bit it's a pretty Spanish girl and um, I'm walking in I haven't seen her in like two weeks because I haven't really been there and she smiles when she sees me smiled and look away and looked away I was like oh cool at least her seeing me made her smile I know last time I saw her I smiled at her but I haven't spoke with her yet but I'm going to I can feel it and it's gonna go good when I do so I'm looking forward to that I'm gonna be at the gym tomorrow hopefully I see her when I talk to her I'll let you guys know I'll let you know how it goes but yeah, have a beautiful day. Let's get happy, healthy, and wealthy. Let's make some gains. Let's do it, all right? Life is beautiful. Peace.